Ancient civilizations searched for ways to preserve bone. With the proper tools, they were able to prevail. The certain prevail implant, it's a wrap. The key driver of crestal bone remodeling is an important phenomenon that occurs around natural teeth and implants called the biologic width, the natural seal that develops around any object protruding from the bone and through the tissue into the oral environment. The seal isolates the bone from the oral environment. Around natural healthy teeth, the biologic width consists of approximately one millimeter of connective tissue and one millimeter of epithelium. On top of these two tissue layers is at least one millimeter or more of sulcular depth. So while there is a minimum of three millimeters of tissue above the bone around a natural tooth or implant, the biologic width term pertains to the physiologic attachment apparatus made up of the connective tissue and epithelium, or approximately two millimeters. When implants are initially placed within bone, and then covered with an adequate layer of soft tissue, there is typically little or no crestal bone resorption. When the implant is uncovered in second stage surgery and connected to an abutment, the body then reacts and in the process of creating the biologic width, the crestal bone may resorb. 3i has created an implant system that is designed to help the clinician in the pursuit of crestal bone preservation. The new Certain Prevail implant features integrated platform switching which incorporates a coronal bevel design that medializes the implant abutment junction. The process of platform switching has shown exciting possibilities in preserving crestal bone. The key to achieving consistent crestal bone preservation may be the intentional placement of a smaller diameter abutment on a larger diameter implant platform the experience of platform switching with smaller diameter abutments on larger diameter implants may demonstrate possible preservation of crestal bone and a less angular component to any bone loss. The working hypothesis is that any inflamed connective tissue or component micro-motion actually occupies a more medial location on the implant platform because it essentially is resting on the outer circumference of the implant platform. The inflamed connective tissue does not extend laterally to the same extent as it does with a traditional matched implant abutment junction. The crestal bone clinically and radiographically appears to maintain its position, while the soft tissue appears not to recede as much as it does with traditional matched configurations. In a sense, this implant configuration appears to limit biologic width reformation because the ledge of the implant platform, to a significant extent, may isolate the underlying bone and appears to keep it hidden from any potential irritants. The certain prevail implant, it's a wrap.